fed up's finally arrived and I thought I'd show y'all what happens, or rather, how my medicine arrives. It comes in this lovely box. I have so many of them now. And I keep a box cutter out here so I don't have to keep the box if I don't need to. You need to just sit down here for a second. Just sit down there. Enjoy the terrible angle. But I keep a box cutter out here. Wow. This one needs to be sharpened. I can't cut through half the tape. <laughs> I keep a box cutter out here so that I can more easily dispose of the stuff that comes in here. So these are all prescription information and I won't be throwing that away. I throw it in the shredder usually. This is what it looks like. And then inside here, I did ask for alcohol pads this time. They will send these in a sharp container for free if I ask them to. So because I only had two alcohol swabs, I asked for more and that was great that they showed up and uh, alcohol swabs. And then they come with these gel packs. So many gel packs, usually four, an A and a C, and then the medication. I take Enbrel. That's how you spell the brand name and the off-brand name? I don't know. Oh, the generic name, that's what I'm thinking of. So yeah, four, four ice packs and this styrofoam container, which is great for um, transporting fish in is really all I've done with it. <laughs> I've taken lots of styrofoam containers to and from fish stores with various amounts of fish in them. That was a horrific sound. Um, this is so much waste because of the way they package it. That's literally all garbage. I have to just throw that out. Because, I mean, I've got like 30 ice packs. I don't need that many. This box at least I can recycle, but... For the most part, this is just trash. Trash and like $3,000 worth of medicine. Maybe they think because it's such expensive medicine, that's why they can get away with packaging it the way they do. But it does bother me. Because again, I have to do this every month. And I'm one person to, who takes this medication. And if I were to take a second injectable medication to deal with my other illnesses, I would be getting more than one of these boxes, probably. Bam. But in addition to all the trash and the stress of waiting down here, it's now... I filmed this the same day as the other two videos where I'm just like laying on the couch waiting to die. Um, it's now two or three in the afternoon. And so I have to climb over my three excitable dogs to get out the door to get my medicine. And honestly, now I'm going to go upstairs and sleep because I've been sitting on the couch all day and it's pretty much the only piece of furniture that's even remotely comfortable. And I'm just in so much pain that I'm ready to go sit on something else. This is, it's an old couch. It has holes in it. It's not comfortable. I mean, it's remotely comfortable in the way that it is probably started comfortable in its youth. So, put those papers there to shred them. And take these upstairs with me to put them in the pharmacy, as I like to call it. It's a cabinet above my toilet. It's got so much crap in it that's just pharmaceutical stuff like band aids and alcohol swabs. But the most important thing I would say about Enbrel, besides making sure that people actually deliver it and don't just walk off with it deciding that I'm not home. Okay, so the most important thing is remembering where you put the medicine because you can't see where you set it down. Mm. Don't answer this for me. I have to solve life's problems by myself. I walk in this way usually. I thought I was holding it when I came in. Oh, coffee pot! There we go. Okay, cool. So, the most important thing about Enbrel 
And my least favorite part is that it has to be refrigerated. You have to get it here while it's still cold. And again, if they, if for some reason the people who are doing the delivery decide that I'm not here or they just decide they don't feel like knocking, they will say, you know, we deliver, we attempted delivery, but they've never knocked. They've never rung the doorbell. They didn't even get out of the car one time. I just saw the truck drive by, circle around the block, and then I got a text saying, oh, we tried to deliver it, but we didn't. So, uh, it has to be refrigerated, and if I have to go out the frickin' UPS place at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night to pick up a medicine that should have been delivered, I get really grumpy. And so the worst part about Embril for me is that it has to be refrigerated. But yeah, now, now you know a little bit more about my medication routine and that little slice of hell which occurs once monthly, not to be confused with the other slice of hells which occur once monthly. I hope you have a wonderful day.